In today's tutorial, we will discuss the reactivity of singlet oxygen, often abbreviated as 1O2. As you certainly all know, the ground state of oxygen is a diradicalic triplet state. This singlet oxygen is a bit above energetically, actually it's 95 kilojoule per mole, and you can generate the singlet oxygen, for instance photochemically. You need, of course, light and a sensibilizer, for instance, Rose Bengal, and then you can photochemically generate singlet oxygen. On the other hand, in aqueous solution, you can generate it by oxidation of hydrogen peroxide. Interestingly, hydrogen peroxide is an oxidizing agent, but with an even stronger oxidizing agent, sodium hypochlorite, you can even oxidize this to generate singlet oxygen. However, sodium hypochlorite could cause competing reactions with sensitive functional groups and it would be nice to have another way to generate singlet oxygen and this interesting molecule caused, called rubrin is capable to help us. It is itself also similar to Rose Bengal, a sensibilizer, and if you have this red compound in solution, introduce light, for instance sunlight and air, after a while the solution will lose its color. So, with oxygen photochemically this molecule is produced since photochemically from the triplet oxygen the singlet oxygen is formed and this undergoes a Diels Alder reaction forming this rubrine endo peroxide. And this is a colorless compound since the pi system, the big pi system of rubrine, is interrupted. So now this reaction. can go in the opposite direction just by heating this up above 100 degrees in solution and therefore by thermolysis of the rubrin endoperoxide we can generate thermally the singlet oxygen. So, as we have already seen here, singlet oxygen can undergo the diels alder reaction. We can make use of it. For instance, if we have cyclohexadiene present with singlet oxygen, it will react to give a Diels 
alder product, the so-called endoperoxide, and reducing the oxygen-oxygen bond will lead us to the diol. Interestingly, with both hydroxyl groups on the same side of this ring system. Closely related to the Diels Alder reaction is, as we know, the so called Ean reaction. In this case, a hydroperoxide is formed, and also this hydroperoxide we can reduce, getting to an allylic alcohol. One problem with the hydroperoxide we have in the case of THF and other ethers. Singlet oxygen also gives an hydroperoxide in this case, but now this is a hazard. We should always pay attention when we will distill ethers that we have made sure that no hydrogen peroxides are present in solution before distilling an ether. Thanks for listening.